Control of the soldiers is extremely important at the moment. The last few minutes of a battle or the last couple of seconds of a battle can be a deciding factor in the outcome. The section commander will select one of the fire teams to move forward and clear the trench and restrain the enemy combatant that hasn't been wounded or killed. Once the prisoners have been secured, or once the enemy combatants have been secured, they're calling forward for medical support. The rest of the soldiers from the section are providing some all-around security so that they can search, detain, and begin to apply first aid to the enemy combatants. Something is very important to note, medical care and attention is given to enemy combatants that is exactly the same as it's given to Canadian or coalition forces. They receive the same high quality treatment at the same facilities at our airfields and bases all over the world. At this point, the dismounted section commander and his second in command are consolidating their soldiers, determining how much ammunition is left over, redistributing, hydrating, and being prepared to move on to the next mission or repelling a counterattack. All of the soldiers that you see out there today have approximately 60 to 80 pounds of equipment on, including ceramic plates and fragmentation vests and helmets. Often temperatures in places like Kandahar in the summer think? months reach 55 degrees Celsius. It's a show, right? I think it's a cool show, though. Did you guys see the gun from the um, armored vehicle? Yeah. Stand by, folks, for the final pass from the CF-18 Hornet, just about 20 seconds out. Okay. And we're not going to tell you which direction he's coming from. No. It's got gunpowder in it, but not um, bullets. Check this out. CF-18 Hornet. Captain Kenny King from St. John's, Newfoundland is at the controls of that airplane. He joined the forces in 1984. He's flown the CT-155 Hawk, the CF-18 for 410 Squadron, as well served in Kandahar, Afghanistan. Also with him today is Captain Ryan Roy Keen from Victoria, British Columbia, who received his wings in 2008 on the CT-155 Hawk. 